J Dot Production Studios asks, how many battle droids and clone troopers served in the Clone Wars? Well, let's find out. Welcome to Star Wars FAQ. By the time Obi-Wan Kenobi discovered the cloning facility on Kamino, 200,000 clones were ready for deployment in the Grand Army of the Republic. Then, following the outbreak of the Clone Wars, a further 1 million units were combat ready. So in total, 1.2 million clone troopers were produced for the early stages of the conflict. But how many more joined the fight? Well, according to Karen Travis's novel Republic Commando Triple Zero, the figure inflated to 3 million the next year, which is somewhat underwhelming considering the scale of the galaxy. For a real world comparison, the United States harboured an army of 16 million soldiers during World War II, making up about 12% of the US's population. On the other hand, the Grand Army of the Republic only made up 0.0001% of Coruscant's 1 trillion population. Many factors could be to blame for such an error of scale, but the most likely is cost. In the short story to Public Commando Odds, Lamassu contacts Palpatine and states the following. If you require more clones beyond the current order, then you must authorise us to begin further production immediately. An initial payment of 1 billion credits. We can safely assume that 1 billion credits afforded the development and conditioning of around 1.2 million clones. However, the cost of weapons, armour, vehicles and so on remain a mystery. On the contrary, money was no issue for the Confederacy of Independent Systems. As a result, they were able to mass produce one quadrillion battle droids for the Separatist army. For every one clone trooper, there were 300 million battle droids, which elevates the Clone Wars to the largest underdog victory you'll ever hear. So it just goes to show that it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. It also helps to have a puppet master controlling every aspect of the war. Now that you know, at least in Legends, how many soldiers participated in the Clone Wars, let me know in the comments below if you prefer quantity or quality on the battlefield. And do leave any questions for future Star Wars FAQ videos if you so wish. Thanks for watching, and for more Star Wars related content, keep a look to To the King's during the Clone Wars, Kamino's cloning facilities manufactured clone troopers for the Grand Army of the Republic. However, when the Galactic Republic transitioned into the Galactic Empire, did the world continue to produce clone soldiers? As far as canon goes, there is no real answer. Though the Empire and then the First Order chose to hire human males from territories like the Outer Rim instead, Kylo Ren stated cloning technology was still alive in The Force Awakens. But so that this video is not just speculation, let's look at what happened in the Legends universe. Immediately following the Clone Wars end, Palpatine firmly established Imperial control through force of arms on the planet to secure the Empire's future soldiers. However, as the Kaminoans continued to serve the Empire, some of the race became resentful of Imperials treating Kamino like a virtual military police state. 